Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to Catechism Online. Today is going to be a shorter lesson than usual, but we're talking about prayer. And we're going to look at this introduction before our next four weeks of what is prayer and what does it mean? And what we're going to use is we're going to use a hand to kind of help us through and say what, um, help us remember these types of prayers. So the first one that we're going to prayer type of prayer we're going to talk about is Thanksgiving. Uh, I want you to imagine if you're hitchhiking and uh, someone picked you up, you'd be very grateful. You'd be like, oh man, thank goodness you found me, right? My car broke down, whatever. Thank you so much. So a type of prayer is a thanksgiving prayer. Now, a thanksgiving is where we thank God for all the gifts that God gives us. So when we look at our thumb, we can think, man, thank you. Thank, thank goodness. Um, the next is, right, our finger right here, right? We, you see this a lot, uh, athletes or something, they're praising, hey, I'm number one, I'm number one. Well, that's another type of prayer is a praise. We're praising God for giving all the glory to God, for just being God. We're saying God's number one. We couldn't do this without you, God. Praise you, God. You're the best. Thank you so much, right? So we have our thank you prayer and we have a praise prayer. The next one is our middle finger. Now, I'm not going to hold up my middle finger, but if I did, I would be asking all of you guys to forgive me. And so we can look at, when we're looking at this hand, we can look at the middle finger um, is an offensive gesture in our today's society. And if we use that gesture, we'd be asking for forgiveness. We'd be like, man, I messed up. I'm a sinner. <laughs> Please forgive me. And so when we look at our middle finger, we know that it's, it reminds us of this forgiveness prayer um, where we need to confess our sins to the Lord and ask for his forgiveness. So we have thanksgiving, we have praise, and we have um, forgiveness. So the next one is intercession. And if you guys notice, if I was married, this is my ring would be on this finger. Um, and so intercession is when we pray for others. So if I had a ring, this would remind me that I'm married um, and, you know, of my spouse or, you know, my significant other. And this is a way that I can remember, man, I need to pray for other people. Um, you know, we can pray for to God for all these other things we've talked about, but it's important for us to pray for other people. Um, so when we can look at our ring finger, we know, oh man, I need to pray for other people. So we have prayer of thanksgiving. We have a prayer of praise. We have a prayer of um, forgiveness. And then we have a prayer of intercession. That's uh, praying for other people. The, the fifth one we're going to talk about is petition, right? Now, if you notice that we're using the pinky, the pinky is the smallest finger on our hand. And we're using the pinky for the idea of to remind us to pray for ourselves. Um, it's important for us to remember to pray for ourselves, um, things we're going through. Um, but if that's all we're doing is praying for ourselves, we're not following God's call in our lives to pray for other people. And um, and how to properly pray. And so because the pinky is the smallest finger, um, you know, praying for us is probably a smaller part of our list, a little, you know, lower part of our list. So when we look at the smallest finger, we can say, you know what? I need to pray for myself. So, uh, it's still important. It's there. We don't, we don't need to do it all the time, but as much as the other sometimes, but it still is an important thing that we need to pray for. And the last one, I want you guys to think of your poem. It's meditation. Um, and that's just listening to God. I think if you ever see someone like meditating, they're like, oh, and that's meditation. So sometimes when we pray, uh, we just need to listen to God. Like prayer is a communication. It's something, it's our, it's our way to talk to God. It's our lifeline. And we have to have those lines of communication open. And so when you communicate in any relationship, there's always you talking to that person, but there also is a time where you have to listen. If you're the only person talking, well, you know, it's it's only one way. Well, that's our relationship with God isn't one way. So we also have to listen to God and, and meditate on what God has to say for us. So we have thanksgiving, we have praise, we have forgiveness, we have intercession, praying for other people, we have petition, praying for ourselves, and then we have meditation where we're just listening to God. So um, use this hand illustration to help you remember what are the six types of prayers that we types of prayers that we pray as Christians? And join us these next couple weeks as we're going to look at two different prayers each week, and we're going to break them down more in depth of what it means and looking at scripture and people who did that and what a type of prayer is and writing our own types of prayers. 
and trying to figure out what does this mean. So make sure you guys are checking out um, class on Sunday mornings, or if not, make sure you guys are checking out the stuff online. So uh, look forward to digging into this idea and concept of prayer more with you guys.